Bellator alongside Teddy Atlas and welcome to the New York Arena in Midtown Manhattan for a much anticipated main event. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. The opening bell of this scheduled 12 rounder here. A much anticipated fight. Round one underway. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Golden. And he just holds on there. Golden's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Halfway through round number one. Turns over that hook upstairs. Move your head. Hard charging with that right hand. Okay, get your hands up. Keep working the bus. Golden's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Back and forth exchange. Good job protecting himself. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. How you doing? This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. Now, Teddy, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, if you're going to catch him, let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. that shot up top. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Halfway through round number two. Good block there by Golden. Hit the butt! Golden's punch didn't come close. Able to show you his blocking ability. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. That's a stinging right hand by Golden. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Back to the body. Okay. Okay. Relax now. And round number three is underway. Golden's blocking ability is doing well for him there. was just off the mark. Now hugging on the inside. Work the body, kid. Body shot. There's 
the hook. Use the ring. Comes across with a hook up top. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Hook. Good Hook. job staying away from the danger there. Really frustrating his opponent now. Golden so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great hey, amount so keep far. keep your hands up! Comes right back with some offense of his own. Oh. What impact with that uppercut by Golden! Oh, he is stunned. He could go, go down. Wake up! <laughs> Taking a bit of a breather here, just tying up, hugging his opponent at this point. Hey, look, even the great race cars, Indianapolis 500, bing, 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 zing, zing, zing. They're going around that track, 250 miles an hour. They pull in for a pit stop. They got to get refueled. This is pit stop, getting a little gas. One, two, one, two. Uh -huh. Pace yourself. Carries that punch intended for the head. Well, you can tell he's being patient, waiting for a countering opportunity. Teddy, what does he have to think about laying that trap? All he has to do is think a little bit like I do a tax season with my accountant. <laughs> I don't want to go into that office. You know, my accountant's standing at the door. He's waiting for me to come in there. I don't want, I want a rebate. And that's what he wants. He wants a rebate. He wants a counter. He's stepping back and he's waiting for the guy to come to him. So he's the one who gets his way. Now he ties up there. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Get in the room. Golden swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. So the end of the round, and now a chance to put the pieces back together. He got stunned in that last round. Yeah, well, he has to get those birds out of his head right now. You know, open that cage up and let him fly out there. And the best way to do that is find out why he got stunned. What did he get hit with? Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. A well-placed left hand up top. Good job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Golden. Good-looking jab there. Finish with the hook. Keep working the body. Big shot. The right nice. came clean. Just get Good. out there. Wow. Stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round. And he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better. He fought better defensively. And when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. 
Goldens coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Move your head. Focus. Coming to the end of round number five, last 10 seconds. Good body shot. The right hand came home. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Golden's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know, they're attached, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Turns on that exchange. Keep moving. Reaching the Keep halfway moving. point of round number six. Nice solid left hand scored by Golden. Golden's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Get up, focus. That right hand over the top lands flush. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Golden's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. And that's the end of round six. You sit ringside long enough, and you get a sense at what the scorecards are going to look like. I mean, sometimes they throw you off a little bit. But we know who should be ahead on the scorecards in this fight. Yeah, and he does too, and his opponent does too, and you see it in his body language. He's starting to get a little discouraged a little bit. And, of course, you see also that the guy winning right now, he's starting to behave like a guy that's winning. He's staying outside a little more, using those feet a little bit more, almost going into that kind of prevent defense you see in football. He's got half. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. And bang, and away he goes. He goes down. He has so much time now, he's going to be forced to survive. One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're gonna find out right now, he needs them right now. Halfway through the seventh round. Keep your head moving. You see him holding on. Solid left hand to the head. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Golden. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Golden's clearly committed to the strategy of footwork, of movement, of staying away and staying out of trouble. Yeah, he's got plenty of air in those tires. 
and he's making sure that he's using him. He's spinning him around that ring. He just has to make sure that he doesn't get predictable where he's going straight back. He goes straight yeah. back, you can always time him. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. Pace yourself. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Turned that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Double it, back to the body. What impact from that uppercut by Golden. Did you see that? Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Uppercut. Keep Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Nice work, nice work. Okay. Golden's got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? See, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing that I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to a sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it. And he does Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. Wow! Can you believe that? What a huge punch! You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for these. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Not able to connect with the relax, uppercut. Relax. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Golden's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is, and his opponent right now is not making adjustments. Matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting, and the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. He brings a big power punch, and it landed well. Well, we've been talking about getting in his kitchen. He went in there, and he ate everything. Scored well up top. He missed with that headshot. That's a well-scored left hand by Golden. Golden showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got a, what a shot. Big hook comes in. We come to the end of this round, and all you have to do is take a quick look at him to be able to say, boy, he's not in good shape. Now, Teddy, is it more important to handle the physical detriments and the damage that's been done to him or to pump him up mentally here at this point? No, you have to be honest with yourself. You have to be realistic. And most important, your greatest responsibility is to help the welfare of your fighter. 
Right now, he's taking so much punishment. You have to be thinking about stopping this fight. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, he starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Good step back counter punch there. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Solid right by Golden. Pace yourself. Counting oh. down towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. Three minutes gone by in this round. Deep breath. You're in control of this fight. Well, don't get careful. Well, we'll see if he can come up with that something special, that jackpot being cashed in, because there's no doubt about it. I mean, just look at your scorecard here, Teddy, as we start round number 11. He is in a big hole. Now, this is where the trainer has to remind him. There was a moment one, two, in camp. One, the trainer's been with him for a long time, since oh, he was a kid. The trainer has to remind him. One of those solemn moments when he opened up to him and he said, this is what I want to be. Well, guess what, son? Here's the moment. That makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Halfway through this round. Punch! Punch! Yeah, that's it! Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. this at all Teddy I mean it's one thing to stand toe to toe it's another thing to never even move you gotta show some move maybe he's breaking down maybe he's already spit the bit you know if he falls down everybody in the world's gonna know that he let himself fall down he gave up but there's different ways different phases of giving in and this might be one of those phases listen to me this is it of this scheduled 12 round. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Golden. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Golden's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And just like that, things turn around. A back and forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing is about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about. Golden. That's a clean shot. Able to get in with the right hand. Keep moving. Get out there. 
Ties up on the inside. Move your head! Pace yourself! He clinches when he gets to the inside. Golden's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Relax, relax. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. Keep working him, bud. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. This was a sure and steady effort by Golden tonight, and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.